The start-stop feature is designed to increase fuel efficiency while decreasing the overall amount of CO2 emissions by turning the engine off temporarily when it is not needed. The start-stop system is automatically activated when the ignition is switched on. The system can be turned off manually by pressing the switch above the selector lever in the center console. A red bar will illuminate and a message will appear in the instrument cluster. Certain requirements must be met for the system to operate. The driver's door and the hood must be closed. The driver's seat belt must be fastened. The transmission must be in park, neutral, or drive. The steering wheel must not be turned. And a trailer must not be hitched to the vehicle. With all criteria satisfied, the system will operate as designed. When stopping, press and hold the brake pedal. The start-stop indicator light appears in the instrument cluster once the engine has shut off. The engine may restart at any time to satisfy system power needs. When the driver's foot is lifted from the brake or if the steering wheel is turned, the engine will restart. If the start-stop system has turned off the engine and the driver unfastens the seat belt and opens the driver door, the engine will remain off and the electronic parking brake will engage. If the driver's door is then closed and the seat belt refastened, the engine will restart and the parking brake will release when the accelerator is depressed. Various conditions can affect whether the system activates, such as exterior temperature, interior temperature, inclines, elevation, engine temperature, and battery charge, for example. If conditions do not allow the system to activate and the engine remains running, the indicator will turn white and have a diagonal line through it. Multiple short stops may result in temporary deactivation until the system is ready again. When in operation, the start-stop system can help increase fuel economy while reducing CO2 emissions.